Hi and welcome to Lounge Fever, a pmplounge.com special series wherein we try to answer your burning questions. If you have a question, feel free to comment or send us out on our social media and we'll definitely respond to it. We can also make a video on it. You never know, right? So the question for today is what is the difference between directive and controlling PMO? This is a really, really good question. We have three types of PMOs and we have already covered this earlier on PMP Lounge. Let me show you and give you a proof that we have covered it already. So this is pmplounge.com, our main website. These are certain links. By the way, hit us up on reddit youtube facebook twitter our social media and join us there never miss an update by the way you can subscribe by entering your email address here so that the latest updates reach right to you on your inbox one of the helpful item on this website apart from of course the list of all the articles that we have done is this widget wherein you can shop the best PMP resources available out there through this widget. So that's one thing. But we were talking about PMO. So this is the search box. You can search whatever you want to. Let's search for PMO here. And whichever article or video that had PMO in it will show up as results. So this is the one, what is project management office, PMO, real world perspective, lessons from best executors of strategy. So all of these are the search results when I typed in PMO. And we are looking for the first result itself. What is project management office? So this is the video about that we did about PMO. And this is the article let's quickly look into the article so like i mentioned there are three types of pmos supportive controlling and directive the question here for lounge fever today is the difference between controlling and directive pmos and like i said it's a good question because this could be a little confusing so controlling pmos what they basically do in addition to providing templates and guidelines which is the work of supportive pmos they can also audit your project to ensure you're following the process prescribed by them this is the work of controlling po pmos while directive pmos will actually assign project managers to projects and the pms might be reporting directly to the pmo and does the kind and thus this kind of pmo will have super control on the way projects are managed the one other important aspect to note here is the people that work in controlling PMO, they are more of auditors, right? So they can actually come in and audit the project team's work, the, the work products that they are basically generating, if they are following the processes or not, if they are complying to the company standards or not, right? The company management rules, uh, the company project management rules or not. So the people who work in controlling PMOs are more of auditors, while people who work in directive PMOs are more of project managers themselves. And that is why PMOs, the directive PMOs, assign project managers to project. So that was a simple difference between directive PMO and controlling PMO. Like I mentioned, I found this to be a really good question, so I covered it here. That was all with this quick video on launch fever. You can comment your question, like I said earlier. Definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done it already. Hit us on our social media, facebook.com slash PMP Lounge and twitter.com slash PMP Lounge. And as always, like I showed you the website, pmplounge.com. Check it out for the latest, greatest, free best articles on the internet on project management, PMP preparations, and the project management industry in general. Thank you.